Former President Trump is expected to launch his third campaign for the White House with an announcement this afternoon. The former president is looking to defy history amid signs that his grip on the Republican Party may be waning. He was hoping to use the GOP's expected gains in last week's elections as a springboard to win his party's nomination. Instead, he finds himself being blamed for backing a series of losing candidates. An announcement is expected at 3 p.m. Hawaii time. Meanwhile, Democrat Katie Hobbs has been elected Arizona governor, defeating an ally of Trump who falsely claimed that the 2020 election was rigged. Hobbs, who is Arizona's Secretary of State, rose to prominence as a staunch defender of elections, and she warned that her Republican rival, Carrie Lake, would be an agent of chaos. Lake, a former news anchor for a local Fox station in Phoenix, ran with full support from Trump. Hobbs succeeds Republican Governor Doug Ducey, who was prohibited by term limit laws from running again. Well, back here at home, the general election has come and gone, but thousands of ballots have not yet been counted. Officials say they're either missing or have mismatched signatures. Now, according to county clerks, there are issues with 3,300 votes on Oahu, 900 in Maui County, nearly 600 on the Big Island, and more than 200 on Kauai. The Garden Isle has tried to call voters by phone. The other three counties have notified people by mail, along with options for curing or fixing the validation. Affected voters have until 4.30 p.m. tomorrow to respond. You can track your ballot on the elections website to see if it was counted and reach out to your county clerk's office if it wasn't. We have that information on KHON2.com. The city is hosting its final job fair of the year today. The Work Hawaii hiring event will be held at Dole Cannery from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. State apprenticeship opportunities will also be available for some trades. Employers from other businesses will be hiring for positions ranging, ranging from administrative assistants to pastry cooks. Remember, registration is required. A tiny bug has been wreaking havoc on the Big Island, and officials need your help to control it. The two-lined spittle bug was first detected six years ago and since then has spread to infest more than 176,000 acres of rangeland on the island. Within the highly infested areas, nearly 100% of the grasses die, leaving no food for cattle. UH's College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources has released the two-lined spittle bug tool. It's an app that allows users to identify and report spittle bug sightings. It's available to download on the Google Play or App Store.